Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so this video will show you how to build an HTTPS API proxy in the AnyPoint platform. So within the API manager today, you have the ability to manage and proxy existing APIs that are either SOAP or REST, um, as well as build and deploy your own APIs directly to a meal runtime. Uh, and these can be deployed, of course, as regular HTTP endpoints. Um, but one of the new capabilities on the platform is something called Secret Manager that allows you to store your certificate files and uh, apply those across your different proxy deployments uh, to expose those as HTTPS versus an HTTP endpoint. So with this uh, video today, I'm going to walk you through the process of taking an existing API that I've already deployed in API Manager and then switch that over to an HTTPS endpoint using the Secrets Manager. Okay, so uh, here in the endpoint platform, let's first look at an API that I've already deployed as an HTTP endpoint. Um, from the previous video, it was a calculator API um, based off of SOAP endpoint. Um, here is the, uh, the, the API management page for that. Um, here's the URL, right? Currently exposed over HTTP. And I wanna go ahead and switch this and expose this as an HTTPS endpoint. So over here within the, um, the, the, the page for the calculator SOAP API under advanced options, you now have the ability to switch it from HTTP to HTTPS. And once you do so, it's gonna show you this new um, dropdown or, or new, new field for the TLS context for inbound traffic. So before we can actually set this up, we need to go ahead and upload a, uh, a certificate into the secrets manager within the AnyPoint platform. So we'll switch back over here um, to the menu and click on Secrets Manager. Okay, so within the Secrets Manager, you can set up a, you know different secret groups, and within those secret groups, you can upload certificates, you know, uh, uh, files, you know, username, passwords, um, and leverage those and allow those to be downloaded to you know the proxies or store additional credentials uh, that can be referenced by um, different components within the platform. So. Um, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and generate a key store file. And this is just going to be a self-signed certificate. We're going to use the key tool utility from the JDK. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste in this uh, command already that, that's pre-populated. And it's going to go ahead and generate a JKS file for me. So you can see here, here's that key store JKS file. Okay. Back over in the secrets manager, let's go ahead and create a new secrets group. We'll go ahead and call this demo and we'll go ahead and check the box to say secret group is downloadable to allow um, you know, the deployment of a proxy to grab any certificate from this specific secret group. We'll click on save. And the first thing we'll wanna do is uh, go into the key store section and upload that key store that we just created. So for this key store, let's go ahead and call this uh, the test key store. This is a JKS type and we'll upload the JKS file. Additionally, for the, the key phrase, um, that was set as password, and then the alias is mule, and then the key passphrase is also password as well. Of course, that can be changed for more security. Um, so once the, those are set, uh, we can go ahead and click on save, and that will add that key store now to the secret group. And then the next thing we want to do is also set up a TLS context that will reference that specific key store file. So we'll add a TLS context in here and we'll just call this HTTPS for now. And this will be uh, TLS version 1.2. The target will be mule and the key store will be that key store file that we just uploaded. And then we'll leave the optional fields empty for now and click on save. So. That's added in here now. So we've got a key store and we've got the TLS context. And then before we can actually um, configure the API proxy, we need to go ahead and finish up the, the, the configuration of the secret group. So you'll come back to the, the main screen, screen of the secrets manager and click on finish and confirm that you're done making any modifications. And this ensures that other people won't make any changes to your specific secrets group that you're working on um, so it doesn't get overwritten. Okay, so that's all set up now. Let's go ahead now and switch back over to API Manager. And then for the API that we're planning to switch over to HTTPS, we can now come down to the API configuration section. We can expand the advanced options and we can switch this over to HTTPS. 
and we'll add in that TLS context. So we'll select that demo secret group and we'll select the HTTPS TLS context and we'll click on OK. And that's all you need to do to set up that TLS context. So we'll click on save and that'll apply the changes to the specific API configuration. And then in order for those changes to be uh, you know, deployed, we're gonna have to redeploy this proxy again with those changes. So we'll give it a couple seconds. And once that's up and running, we can go ahead and check out the API and see um, that new endpoint exposed as an HTTPS endpoint. Okay, so now you can see that it's uh, been redeployed. The status is now active um, down here in the configuration. It's now set to HTTPS. If we go to the endpoint uh, that we previously hit earlier oops, um, and look at that, uh, try to try to navigate to that, you can get a 502 because there's nothing at the HTTP. So what we'll go ahead and do now is change this to HTTPS. And when we go ahead and refresh, we'll now see that endpoint as an HTTPS endpoint. Okay. So hopefully that uh, gives you a good example of how to set up your API as an HTTPS proxy endpoint. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave any comments or reach out. Um, I'm always happy to help.